Hey y'all. So. I want to talk about something that's bothering me today. Not this caramel crunch frappuccino because this is amazing. But fungus gnats. You heard it. Fungus gnats. I've heard a lot about fungus gnats recently. And I don't know if it's because people are bringing their plants from outside inside now or the pandemic has just made people more interested in plants, but it's a hot topic. So we don't get on the easy way to get rid of them. I know there are sprays and insecticides that say, yeah, we're gonna get rid of their fungus gnats, blah, 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 or, but you never really get rid of them, right? So let's talk about why you get fungus gnats. You get fungus gnats because you're overwatering your plant. You're either overwatering your plant, or it's like you're bringing it in from outside and it's been raining and the plant is super wet, or in your soil is not a good draining soil either. Or maybe the type of pot that you have um, doesn't allow good drainage in your plant. So the easiest way to get rid of fungus gnats is to correct those problems. So correcting those problems will stop further fungus gnats and prevent anything in the future. Now, part of that method to me is using mosquito pits. I think this is such a cheap, easy, I mean, you can get this in like Ace, Lowe's. Um, they will kill and control your fungus gnats. Now I say control because you can use it as a preventative once a month, but the real way to get to keep them away is to make sure that your soil is not sitting wet on your plants. So what I do to prevent them, now I had some fungus gnats, so I use the mosquito bits and then I began bottom watering all of my plants. So all of my plants have these little trays at the bottom, these plastic like 86 cent trays. Um, oh man, look at that, they got roots out the bottom. That's funny. I literally just looked at this plant not that long ago and was like, oh no, it's good to go. So you see how it's wet? That's because this plant just got watered, so I ain't gonna water it no time soon. But if I was to water this plant, I only put water in this bottom tray. I don't water this plant from up top. Not because it's crowded up top, but because if you water from the bottom, your plant will only soak up what it needs. Um, and then your top of your soil won't be sopping wet because you're not pulling from the top, it's coming up from the bottom. That's how you get fungus nests. That top of that soil is super, super wet. They sit down on there, they lay their eggs, their larvae come out, and then you've got these little annoying little gnats flying around your house. So. Bottom watering is when I say the most essential thing that you could do for your plants. All of my plants, I know you guys can see over my shoulder, they all have trays underneath them because I exclusively bottom water. Now, I top water my plants at least once a month. Um, sometimes I let it go a little farther, but once. And the reason why is because you do want those nutrients to go down from the top. So that's usually when I feed the plants. And then sometimes I'll take the mosquito bits and I will do like a preventative on all the plants just from the top. And the reason why you do the mosquito bits on the top is because you wanna kill the things that are on top. And if your fungus nets are coming from the top, you wanna hit the top first. So how do you make and how do you use the mosquito bits? So I um, make a tea. I know that this says that you can sprinkle them on top of the soil, but I don't wanna sprinkle them on top of the soil because sometimes they mold and I don't want that at the top of my plants. Um, you can mix it in with your soil. I have not done that because I didn't, same thing with the mold on top. I wasn't so sure I wanted to do that. But I create a tea. So I just have like an old Wawa jug here. And you see the bits in there? So for every half gallon, that's two tablespoons of this. So I will fill this up with the water, drop those in there, and then I let it sit. So I normally let it sit for no less than an hour. Um, I want them to get in there and soak it up. So you see they've kind of settled at the bottom. So what will happen is I will take this jug when I'm ready to water the plants and I will strain out the bits of mosquito bits in the bottom. So I have like a little like hand strainer and I'll just pour it over top of it. The water goes into the watering can and then I toss the bits that have already been used and then I water all the plants like that. That works. 
It's going to kill all the larvae that are in the plants and stop more adult gnats from coming out. That's why I said you use it as a preventative once a month if you're really um, having a problem with fungus gnats. That way you keep them at bay. Now the adult ones, you want to use these traps. These came from Amazon. I'll post it at the bottom with the link. But the idea is that they will obviously hop on the sticky part and then you can like stick this down in your plant or stick it wherever. And then when it's full of the gnats, then you throw it away. I like these. They're great for the adult gnats. But a lot of people say, oh, just use sticky traps. Sticky traps is not going to take care of the ones that are in the soil. It's not going to take care of it because you're not taking care of the root of the problem. I love sticky traps. I think they're great, but they are not the one stop all. And see what happens is a lot of people will say, use sticky traps. And then a month later, they're back in the Facebook group saying, I got gnats. I don't know what I've been using the sticky traps. It's because you're not killing the babies. I hate saying it like that. You're not killing the larvae. Um, so these are great for catching the adults that are flying around your house. And they usually work very quickly to attract the adults. In order to get rid of your fungus nest though, you need to hit it from the source. I mean it, the source, bro. Stop putting sticky traps in your plants and then wondering why you still have gnats. <laughs> Yes. Now these mosquito bits are safe for animals. So if you have animals like maybe my crazy cat that y'all know, um, who occasionally may get into things, it is okay for animals. The only thing that it hurts is mosquitoes and fungus gnats. If you were to accidentally drink it, you would be fine. If you read the back of this thing, it'll tell you it is all natural organic. It will not hurt your plants will not hurt people, will not hurt animals. Only thing it's gonna hurt are mosquitoes and fungus gnats. So, you gotta hit it three ways. Bottom water to stop giving them a place to live and stopping your plants from being too, wa too wet. Top with the mosquito bits and then catch the adults with the traps, okay? That alone will take care of them. And normally what I do is I water my plants, most plants, once a week, sometimes twice a week, depending on their pot, their soil, whatever. So when I water my plants for the next two or three weeks, I will do the mosquito bits. Now this thing of mosquito bits will last you a long, long ways. Um, this one is, let's see. I wanna say 30 ounces. So this is 30 ounces, but you only need for a gallon of water, four tablespoons. You see, I've probably used this like six, seven times. Um, you know, after I killed them the first time, I'll do like preventative rounds of it because I am one of those paranoid people. So yeah, you'll get a lot of use out of it. Um, your tea will take care of that, you know. Don't let your kids drink it, but you can take care of it. I promise. But you cannot just treat with these sticky traps. You're not taking care of the source of the problem. So, bottom water, dump the excess water when you're done, treat with the mosquito bits, sticky traps on top. And again, make sure that your soil is a well-draining soil and make sure that if you have a plant that like consistently stays wet and you need to dry out, maybe look at changing the pot, like change it to terracotta. Terracotta likes to wick the moisture out of the soil. So if you have issues with that and you like, look, I've mixed up soil, I've done all this and it still is not draining correctly, try changing the pot. Now I'm not gonna say the pot is gonna be your end all be all because there are so many factors in it, but that's an option. Um, we talked earlier about what I mixed to make my soil mix, perlite, peat moss, Organic mix, orchid bark. That mix will drain very well for you. And you can up how much you want of each depending on what plants you're using. But that's kind of my general purpose end all be all. So, y'all don't need to have no more fungus snacks. <laughs> we can get rid of them cheaply. Like this, I wanna say costs like maybe 12 bucks is what I pay for this. But I got it on Amazon because, you know, I don't really like going to the store nowadays. So, yeah. 12 bucks, maybe like 8 bucks for this. Um, the jug was free. 
it was already here. <laughs> my husband bought Wawa tea and I just reuse it. I actually have like six of these hanging around for stuff like this. Um, and then the little trays to go under your plants. Now, obviously make sure your plant has drainage. But these little trays, cents, like 18 cents is what I bought them for. Eight, 18, 20 cents or something. I got those things on everything in here. Everything here. And like you said, dump your excess water. Like once your plant's been sitting in there for 20, 30 minutes, depending on the pot, depending on the plant, you may need shorter. Dump that excess water. You don't need it. It doesn't need to hang out in there. Sometimes I just dump it into another plant and then dump it into the next plant until either it's gone. If I don't need it anymore, then I drop it in the sink. But yes, I hope that this helps you guys. <laughs> and I hope that it solves your fungus gnat problem because I know it's annoying. Trust me, been there, done that. Um, it, it's like you're watching TV and there's a fungus gnat flying around your head and it's really annoying. So I got it, but fret no more. You can take care of it. <laughs> All right, guys, like, comment, share, subscribe. See you guys later. Peace.